Hi everybody, this is Jay Rouette with Rupp Seeds. Uh, it's getting that time of year where we're starting to go through our uh, new pumpkin varieties. Uh, today I'd just like to go through uh, a few varieties that we've had in the catalog uh, new this past season and also a couple new ones that we'll be adding to the catalog uh, for the 2017 season. Uh, first one I'd like to mention is uh, actually not, not out of our breeding program at Rupp's, but it's out of Enza Zodin's breeding program called Bellatrix. Bellatrix is a uh, 95 day uh, vine, uh, medium vine type pumpkin. Uh, it has intermediate resistance to powdery mildew uh, and you're looking at a um, 25 uh, plus pound pumpkin out of this one. Uh, and we did have a drought year this year um, so the pumpkins are going to be a little smaller than they typically are but uh, concerning what they went through this year they still held their size uh, fairly well through those uh, drought conditions. But Bellatrix uh, Nice variety, uh, uh, did well against powdery mildew this year, um, uh, so it has intermediate resistance uh, and you get a nice 25 consistent size and shape too throughout the field when we were picking it um, and uh, did really well. Um, and so we'll have this again for uh, in our catalog for 2017 and uh, having some really good reports on this one uh, across the board. Uh, now as we get into our uh, rough breeding program, uh, this, this is kind of the new generation of uh, rub seeds where we're coming out with some new varieties uh, and things that we've been focusing on uh, is darker orange color, uh, powdery mildew resistance, and darker green handles uh, are the three main things that we're, we're looking at uh, as we start coming out with new varieties um, uh, in the future. So uh, Bay Horse Gold is actually uh, New this past season, we had it out commercially this year, and it's actually one of my favorite new pumpkins. Um, nice, uh, has kind of that perfect shape, nice round shape, uh, nice ribbing, nice dark orange color. Uh, it's going to be a 15 to 18 pound pumpkin, uh, 100 day medium vine type um, uh, with intermediate resistance to powdery mildew. Uh, this one has been doing really well uh, across the board. We have a customer in Illinois that um, sent us a picture of his barn uh, full of bay horse gold and it was just cookie cutter. Uh, all, the, all the pumpkins in that, that picture were just uh, same size and shape, nice dark orange color, nice handles and uh, the customer was really happy with this new variety. Also had a customer down in Arizona, New Mexico area and he's been loving this variety down there. Um, and it's actually going to be bumping up uh, the amount of uh, Bay horse he's been growing. He's dropping a few varieties and adding bay horse to his uh, main planting. Uh, and then across the Midwest, uh, customers have been raving about it. Uh, Northeast has been doing very well, and so I think this one's going to really take off um, uh, for for years to come. Uh, but yeah, bay horse gold uh, doing really well, and uh, we'll head on to the next variety, uh, which is Eagle City. Eagle City Gold is a, another 100 day uh, medium vine type. Um, this one's going to be an 18 to 24 pounder. Um, intermediate resistance to powdery mildew. And one thing I'd like to mention about this one, I was at a customer's uh, last week and where he typically grows solid gold. Um, and you could tell where he the solid gold was planted and where the uh, Eagle City was planted just on the powdery mildew resistance alone, and which really shows how we're really coming along with our powdery mildew resistance at Rupps. Um, you know, solid gold, still one of my favorite varieties. Uh, I grow about 60% of my acres of solid gold, um, not, not to knock it, but it uh, just shows where our powdery mildew resistance is going uh, in the future, uh, where I could just see a, a definite line across the field where the Eagle City was, was holding up against powdery mildew very well. Um, but this is nice, a uh, little larger than the, the Bay Horse Gold, uh, so you're looking at 18 to 24 pounder, and uh, I think it's going to be another another good one to go into into next season with. Uh, the next variety is uh, Skidoo Gold. Uh, this was not in the catalog this year. This one will be added to the catalog for the 2017 season. Um, Skidoo Gold. Um, actually was extremely consistent across this field when I pick. I was picking it out there this morning 
and I don't think I left any calls out there at all. Uh, maybe you know, maybe five percent at most. It was uh, just the consistency, the size and shape, um, uh, the handles, and everything. You know, it just was. Uh, I picked, it could really pick the, the, the field queen, um, and this one's going to be about a uh, twelve to fifteen pound pumpkin, uh, which we haven't really had a, anything in that category for quite some time. Uh, that twelve to fifteen pound market, and uh, we've had. Customers show up at our farm, uh, actually two customers, and they actually came back. Both of them came back and wanted another uh, load uh, where it's really good for that storefront. Uh, it's not too small. It's not too big. It's just right to kind of fit in that shopping cart uh, as people are going through the grocery store. So it's uh, right, right in that right size for uh, that storefront uh, customer. Uh, nice dark orange color. Uh, it's showing really good resistance to powdery mildew. Uh, and this one will be uh, in the catalog for next season. Uh, really excited about this one because I really haven't had anything in the uh, in that size range since since uh, Gold Fever. Uh, so uh, really excited about this new Skidoo Gold uh, coming out uh, for next season. Uh, there's a couple other varieties I'd like to talk about, which are uh, I was not able to grow in the uh, uh, in my field this year. Uh, one is um, uh, Bisbee Gold, which is actually going to be that same same look as the, uh, as the Skidoo Gold, uh, kind of the same that same shape, that same type of handle, um, but it's going to be smaller. It's going to be more of a five to six pound pumpkin, five to six pound sugar pumpkin. Uh, good resistance against powdery mildew, uh, and that one will be added to our catalog this year, as well as a uh, five to six pound sugar pumpkin. Uh, the other variety I'd like to talk about is um, Better Nut 23. Better Nut 23 is going to be a um, uh, about four to six pound uh, butternut squash, processing butternut squash. For those of you growing Atlas, uh, this will be an excellent substitute to compare it to with Atlas. Uh, a lot more consistent uh, cylindrical uh, butternut squash for the processors. Um, got a couple guys that will actually dice it up and cube it uh, and for packaging for uh, some of the uh, uh, grocery stores uh, for that kind of packaging. But uh, for those of you growing Atlas, the uh, Better Nut 23 uh, will be definitely will be one to try out uh, for uh, for your markets on uh, compared to compared to Atlas. So uh, uh, that one will also have uh, some powder builder resistance and that one's going to be about 100, 110, 115 day in maturity. Um, that's all I want to talk about for now. Uh, if you guys want to know more about these varieties uh, or others, uh, just let us know. Uh, contact, contact us at RUP and uh, be glad to help you. Thanks.